This is Spexy1 requesting permission to take off. Permission granted. You are clear to take off. What the? It wasn't supposed to be this way. Greetings, Spex Invaders. Welcome to Trail Makers. Now, I've been trying to make a Trail Makers video for the last few days, but without luck. Every time I tried to do it, I'd either have a corrupt video at the end of it, or my machine crashed, or any number of things. It almost seemed like it was fate that I wasn't to be. But I am absolutely determined to get you a Trail Makers video today. I'm going to show you what I've built, because I have been building. I also did a live stream with Khan and Durf only yesterday, which was pretty damn awesome. And we tried out some planes and other stuff. But yeah, I have definitely been building. I can show you what I've built. Now, if you watch my old videos you know that I'd already built a car. Now I kind of didn't want to build a normal run of the mill car this time so I wanted to build something a little bit more fancy. So over here you'll see if I ever get there let's use my handy little thrust thing uh, to get me over to this pipe here and you will see what I have in here is a Formula One car. Yep this is all uh, McLaren out here. Yeah this is all pretty cool. It's got sports wheels which weren't available in the first trail maker. So these are new parts that they've put in the game as well. There's also aerodynamic parts and new engine parts. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. So let's have a look then. This is my F1 car built with some of the aerodynamic parts and the sports wheels and yeah it looks pretty authentic I guess as much as you can do in this game. Let's just jump in and uh, give this thing a whirl. Now this thing even sounds like an F1 car should. It is pretty awesome. Now we're going to see if we can take it over this bridge here. Drives like a dream. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, let's see if we can just race over here without even slowing down. Shouldn't need to. Absolutely great. Yeah this actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. I wondered if it was possible to get something like this. It came out awesomely. I'm not sure where the road goes now. Or even if there is one. Where do, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, I don't want to go off the mountain. I'm not sure if there's a way down. Let's try and go this way. Uh, there's a river down there. <laughs> okay, up here then. It should have enough horsepower to get me up here. Now, taking uh, F1 cars off-road is not advisable. So please don't do that. <laughs> if you could get an F1 car, I'm sure you wouldn't. Oh, yeah, there's not a way over there either. Oh my god. How do I get over? I'm not sure. I think we're going to crash this thing. And there it was, gone. <laughs> okay, well there you go, that was my first creation that I came up with. Now after that I thought I wonder if I can just modify that and maybe get it to fly because now they've added flight to the game and it actually works this time with the aerodynamic parts. I thought, well, turning an F1 car into a plane can't be that hard, right? So I had a little tinker. Okay then, so here she is, my F1 plane car. Yep. Almost as awesome as the F1 car was, but this one flies, of course. It's got thrusters on the front there, which help it turn. And that's also for flight and not just on the ground, although it does help you steer on the ground. Now, if I line it up to that small little uh, ramp over there and then use the space bar to thrust, we should be able to take this thing off. Now, I've also got thrusters on the front and the back, as you see, and on the wingtips, and that is for my roll and my pitch. Now I can do that by using the arrow keys because that's what I've set it as. So let's just press the space bar now, get up into the air and then just raise the back up and off I go. The weight of your body alone with the AWS SD keys is not enough to keep this up. It needs you to use the arrow keys to use as extra thrusters to keep it up. It's quite a heavy vehicle but it works. So there you go, that is a flying F1 car. But did Spexy stop there? Did he heckers like? No, Spexy wanted to make something even more spectacular than a flying F1 car. And how can you top that? Well, obviously with an F1 off-road monster truck plane. Yeah, the all-in-one as I like to call it. I'm going to take this bad boy up here and let's go. And this will fly again pretty much like the other one did. If I can just keep this up. Right, let's see. Can I keep it there? Yeah, just fly it over there. We're going to go over to the mud and see how this thing acts on that. Because it's an off-road vehicle, obviously. It's an in-air vehicle, an off-road vehicle, an F1 vehicle. It's got it all. This has got it all in the bag. Yeah, loving this vehicle. Let's just land it. And uh, that could have been better, but you never mind. We only lost one wing. Let's just repair ourselves now then. Uh, slow down, repair. There we go. And yeah, this thing rides reasonably well when its wings don't get... Court. Yeah, didn't really think that through, did I? <laughs> the wings are a little bit too much to get through that gap. Of course, it was always going to catch something with the wings on the side there. But yeah, pretty good. 
works off-road, does everything it says on the tin. It's the all-in-one F1 off-road monster truck uh, plane car thing. Majik, you wanted to call it. <laughs> now, Khan asked me why it had four wheels. And you know what, Khan? You can't judge me. Just because I built a plane with four wheels and that's not traditional. I may not have built a uh, snazzy looking bike like some people did, but this is mine. So don't judge me, Khan. It's my car <laughs> plane thingy and it works just fine. But you're right in a way. I needed to build a proper plane. This, of course, is an excuse. It's an abomination of a plane, I think. So I had another go, another jet plane. Let's see how I did with that one. Okay then, a little bit more plane like this time, as you can see, a biplane in fact. It's also got gimbals on it, it's got thruster parts on it, it's got hover parts on it, it's got a bit of everything. And yeah, this definitely does fly. It's not the easiest vehicle to fly, but it does definitely fly, and it's very, very fast. So let's just give this thing a whirl then, much like the F1 plane. This flies in a similar way, you use the arrow keys to do your pitch and your yaw and your roll, and you just fly around the map like so it's very fast it's very loud that's why i turn the volume down because so many thrusters make a bunch of noise but it is flyable definitely probably op a little bit uh, overwhelmingly uh, ungainly but it does the job it's pretty ugly and i wanted to make something a little bit better than this now, as you can see the body looks a little bit like a helicopter and uh, much like the helicopter i just failed so what did I do from there? Well, I tried to build a prop plane. That's right, an old fashioned traditional plane. Okay then, so here she is. She may not look much, but trust me, this thing flies like an absolute dream. It's actually wonderful. I'm actually so proud of this plane. It came out awesomely. Now, I've seen a lot of planes and flown a few that other people have made, but I challenge anyone to make a plane that's better and more stable than this thing is. And you'll see when I get up in the air just how cool this thing flies. Oh, don't bounce around too much there, baby. Uh, and we have three wheels this time, Khan. Uh, you'll be happy with that because that's more in compliance with a plane. Uh, we have the guns on the end of the wings there, so we are armed if we wanted to be in multiplayer. We have three props, you'll notice, and there's a reason for that, which I'll show you when I get in it. We're using the big wing parts, the small wing parts, and the tail fin there, but we have no thrust whatsoever. This is a pure prop plane. So let's just jump in and I'll show you how it works. Now there's three ways that you can get this thing off the floor. So I've got the arrow key set to the left and right steering and the driving of this forward and back. And I did that because I wanted to use the AWS keys for flying without the uh, tires turning in midair. So I've got those set to the arrow keys. Now that works pretty cool as driving it around on the floor. Now I could drive up to that ramp using my accelerate on my wheels there and turning on my two outside props and that would take me off easily off the end of that ramp. I could probably do it with just using the two props and letting it pull me towards it and going off the end of the ramp. Not a problem at all but there is another way of doing this and if I reverse here you'll see exactly what I mean. I won't even get to the ramp this time if I put all three props on she will take off before we even get to the ramp. There you go. And we are in the air nice and easy. Now turn that center one off for a second. And just see how stable this thing is. Now my hands are not on the keyboard now. Completely I am away from the keyboard. That is autopilot. That is how stable this thing flies. It's almost perfectly balanced. Lean a little bit there. Let's just level her out. And again, my hands are off the keyboard and she flies pretty damn straight now maybe the nose goes up just a little bit but there's nothing wrong with that you'd rather it go up than come down but yeah she flies like an absolute dream you can bank her around you can roll her uh, and it's awesome now the game won't allow you to do a full barrel roll it just doesn't let you it just keeps on crashing when you try and do it i've tried it let's just uh, let's just try one now uh, it won't let you it will just go like that and try to crash you now should be able to rectify this in this plane no problem and it goes reasonably slow, but nice and easy to control with the two props. Now, if I put the middle prop on, as you saw when I took off, this thing goes a lot faster, but also pulls the nose up. And you have to fight it down a little bit to keep it from uh, going too high. But it will easily get to the top of the mountain very, very, very easily by just pulling up like that. I could get up there no problem at all. I'll show you how easy it is. Look, we are gaining height massively now because this thing is awesome. Now, turning off. That middle one again just means that we go nice and slow. And turning it on, 
There we go. Awesomely fast. So yeah, we have the guns set for the spacebar. And that's pretty cool if we were in a multiplayer. I haven't tried this in multiplayer yet, but it will be a dogfighting king, I'm sure. But yeah, this is an awesome, awesome plane. So I hope you think it's cool as well. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I do think it's the best one I've seen so far in the game. Challenge me on that. If you think you've seen a better one, let me know. But this is just so stable and awesome. I am so, so proud. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, some epic stunt flying with your host and pilot, Spexy. Okay, I want to say a big thank you to Flashball Games for giving me access to this game over the weekend. It's been awesome and I've loved the new parts and the new uh, multiplayer. It's been great to play with other people like Khan and Durf and yeah, I've enjoyed it so much. Can't wait till the official release comes out on January the 31st and rest assured I will be there to play it and hopefully get some more of this on the channel if you guys want to see it and if you do let me know in the comment section I'll surely be coming back for this game but if you enjoyed this video as always want to smack the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more great content and until the next video see you soon and bye for now